Madonna's arrived on the New York stage and David Mamet's Speed the Plow. And while she may be a Broadway virgin, Madonna's had the acting bug for years. It's an expression. It's being honest with your audience, stuff like that. So to me, it's just an extension of what I do already. Unfortunately, what we've seen from Madonna on the big screen has been less than memorable. Although she impressed critics and fans in Desperately Seeking Susan, her credits also include a low-budget skin flick and two big-budget box office flops. <laughs> you gotta see me spend money to really appreciate me. So what was the opening night reaction to Broadway's newest bombshell? She's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. She's absolutely wonderful. She's so simple and she's beautiful. I think she has her own style. It's uh, something unique. I know that you're frightened. I know what you are, you see. That's what I'm telling you. I'm frightened? I know that you are. I think she should stick to her singing. Her movies were never that great. I'm not terribly impressed, I'm afraid. I know what it is to be bad. I've been bad. She deserves a lot of credit, and I hope that they don't dump it down just because she's Madonna. When it came to the press, though, Madonna got mixed reviews. No, she can act, read one headline, while the all-important New York Times described her performance as intelligent and scrupulously disciplined. The play itself got unanimous good marks, thanks in large part to her co-stars, Joe Mantegna and Ron Silver. I should be thanking you when I do thank you. Thank you, Bob. This is your thing, and you should get a bump. Thank you. Because, Charles, don't thank me. After the show, Madonna slipped quickly into her limo. But later at the opening night party, she summed up the night as only Madonna could. It felt like really good sex. <laughs>